All right, folks. All right, here's a guy from Houston, Texas, okay? And he's really far out. In fact, he's so far ahead of his time, his parents haven't met yet. <laughs> here he is, Bill Hicks. Bill, hey, baby, here we are. Thank you, how about it? Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you very much, I'm from Houston, Texas, thank you. Simply means as a performer, I perform in places you people only see on Rawhide. I actually go to these hillbilly podunk hell holes, such as Oklahoma. Thank you very much. A veritable entertainment mecca. The only state Arkansas can make fun of. <laughs> when you got Arkansas ragging your ass, you're pretty low down in the food chain, I think. Here's a quick impression of Oklahoma. Those of y'all never been. That was inside the club I was working. In Oklahoma, I think the Marlboro man is a pussy. Played a town there called Enid, Oklahoma. Town is so small, you know, in hotel rooms, you gotta push nine to get an outside line. I pushed nine and got the Elmer Dinkley residence. <laughs> Hello? Who's this? Elmer Dinkley, you just called my house. Yeah, your phone number is nine? Yeah, my cousin's just 23. I had to write that one down. <laughs> Wrote it on my forehead. I keep calling 32. <laughs> They're nice people. They're just from Oklahoma. I had a guy come up to me after the show. Could have been that same guy, Elmer, I think. Came up very excited. He goes, hey, man, you crack me up. <laughs> I was laughing something fierce. I'd like you to meet my wife and sister. And there was one girl standing there. <laughs> Worked on Hollywood Boulevard at a movie theater place that played nothing but horror movies. Frightening, the people that went to those things, man. They're scarier than the goddamn movies. You could hear stuff in that audience like, I remember when I cut off a head. <laughs> Am I in your way? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So I smoke. How many smokers we got here? Smokers. Yeah, yeah. How many non-smokers? Non-smokers. Bunch of whining maggots you people are. Non-smokers don't know the meaning of life till you start coughing up brown chunks of lung on your pillow in the morning. When you start coughing up Smurfs, life takes on a whole new fucking meaning. There is good news for smokers. I'm sure y'all have noticed. Certain General's warnings are different on the sides of each pack. That's pretty cool. Mine say, Certain General's warning, cigarette smoking may cause fetal injury or premature birth. Hey, fuck it. <laughs> Just don't get the ones that say lung cancer, you know? <laughs> it is your body, you should shop around, I think. I can live with low birth weight, you know? I think that's nice, the cigarette companies come out with different types of diseases. You find the one you can live with, continue to smoke. It's like, what are you smoking, Tom? Uh, throat polyps. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stick with my yellow fingernails, buddy. Thank you. Can live with yellow fingernails. I know guys do take breakups hard. I was reading about Vincent Van Gogh. You know what he did? Cut off his ear, sent it to the girl that left him. Yeah, that makes a dozen roses look like a booger, doesn't it? Damn, Vince. You sure she's the one? Vince, think about it. Vince is going, what? Is that Susie? Did she call back? What? <laughs> can't talk to Vince no more, man. <laughs> but I decided over this breakup, man, why get bitter about all women because of one? So I looked on the bright side. I think it helped my career. She left me. Fine. I'm definitely a driven man now. I'm driven by a fantasy. The one day this girl who I love more than anyone in the world 
and I gave my heart to, and she said she loved me, then left. One day this girl's gonna be living in a trailer park somewhere in Oklahoma. <laughs> She's gonna have nine naked little kids with rickets that bring home dead animals from the side of the road for them to eat. She's gonna live with an ex-welder, 600 pounds, fur all over his back, drinks warm beers and farts and belches and beats the kids, watches the Dukes of Hazards every day, has to have it explained to him. One night he's gonna be making love to her and his heart's gonna explode and she's gonna be trapped under 600 pounds of flaccid fish belly cellulite, shifting like the tides of the ocean as blood and phlegm and bile and a chaw of tobacco pours out of his mouth and nose into her face. Yeah, that's it. Just before she drowns in that chunky puddle of afterbirth, she turns to the television and I'm gonna be on this show. <laughs> so don't get bitter. Thank you very much, thank you.